We are currently taking your phone calls. We're going to do a round of the first world problems. So we're going to hear about your first world problem. Then I'm going to compare it to one of the that suck stories that I have here for you. And the point of this is so that maybe you can realize that as bad as you think your situation sucks right now, that maybe the grass is actually greener on your side of the fence. It's a public service that we provide here at the Woody Show. It helps. Hmm. What? Oh, I've got it made me think of a first world problem. Oh, I okay. Have. I like, just, yeah. Light bulb went out of my head. I'm like, God, oh, okay. he's so right about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, okay, we're very spoiled here in America. Oh, yeah. You know, like, yeah. uh, e- e- even if you don't have a great life in America, it's still way better than life in many other parts of the world. If True. I was born oh, yeah. in Venezuela, I'd be starving on the street right Absolutely. now. Yeah. yeah, you look at some of the crazy stuff and, like, yeah. the, just the absolute terror that people live in yeah. Yeah. day mm-hmm. in and day mm-hmm. out. People lived in bomb out, uh, bombed out houses. Yeah, yeah. not knowing yeah. where their next meal's coming from. Totally. It's, you know, it really makes you, that's the stuff that makes you appreciate it. Or, like, right. you're going on about something, you're like, oh, God damn it. Like, the other day, I had a problem where, you know, I just had all this work done in my house, and one of the things I had done is I had this uh, AV system put in, uh-huh. where now all the equipment in my house are, are in these like you know rack systems. Okay, like, right. you know what I mean. So mm-hmm. like uh, I, now it. everything is either run off my phone, or I can run things off of these uh, like you know universal type remote controls. Okay. Okay. Well, I had a problem with one of my Direct TV boxes. Right. But I couldn't access it because it was buried in the middle of one of the racks and not accessible unless I wanted to pull the entire thing apart, which it's all oh, zip tied no. and everything oh, no. else from the professional oh, installers who yeah. did it. Oh, I wouldn't boy. undo that. Uh-huh. Hell no. So no I couldn't way. even access it. So I had to like shut the entire rack off by the power uh, yeah. strip. Right. Hoping that would work. It didn't. Oh, of course not. God. I had to call somebody out. It was a real hassle, oh, oh, and I was so frustrated because, you know, you just want things to work. You do. Yeah. I mean, it's not to say that you can't be frustrated or upset exactly. about something. Exactly. Yeah. But then I, I saw something. We were out later that night, and there was this family that pulled up in front of the restaurant that we were eating at, mm. and they're unloading their disabled child out oh, of, like, yeah. oh, yeah. the van. Right. Yeah. And I'm looking at my kids, and I'm going, man, thank God. And right. then I, I remember right. that I was bitching about and I said, I told my wife, you know, I was just bitching about that stupid direct TV thing earlier. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Totally. Man. I'll take that any day. And that was like a yeah. in the moment That's feeling good. better. Yeah. 1-800-782-7987. 1-800-782-7987. So call in. We want to hear your first world problem, and then we will compare it to one of this week's That Sucks Stories. Phones are now open. 1-800-782-7987. So Seabass, what was making you chuckle? So my Instagram for Cartnarks, mm-hmm. I've got set up, and I've been mm-hmm. giving away like free Cartnarks stickers. Right. So I, but I, I, I want to set up a way to do it automatically where people don't have to message me. Like, they can just enter a form, and it comes to me straight, and I don't have to go through all my messages and stuff. Oh. So I have a business profile, but I don't have the shop set up. Like, the option to create the shop doesn't exist. And I've reloaded mm. and refreshed, uninstalled Instagram, changed my profile, logged out oh, a thousand different ways. And there, of course, mm. you, you'd email Instagram or you put the submit, you know, help button on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. That's, not, that's, that's a black the, hole. That's not, in the wind. Yeah, nothing's going to yeah. come back. Oh. So here I am. I... I can't get my Instagram stickers out because they don't have the stupid option on my Facebook oh, business profile. No. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. You might not have enough followers yet. I have like 27,000 followers. See, you that is a enough. first world problem. Exactly. I, my store, For my sure. Instagram account won't open. Yeah. <laughs> Menace, what's your first world problem? Uh, kind of similar to yours with the wiring. So I actually have fiber optic internet in my building, and it's super fast, super quick. But for some reason, the Wi-Fi is perfectly everywhere in my apartment except for where I sit in bed. Like, oh, really? It, just, it will cut in and out constantly when I'm on my laptop. My Just my little piece of area of my bed, mm-hmm. I cannot get the internet. That's the dead stay. spot? That's the dead spot. <laughs> that is it. Everything or do you else? use it most? Now, what All if good. you switch sides with Nacho? Or does it she works. even have a side? No. Or do you just <laughs> yeah. take the whole thing? No. On her side of the bed, works perfect. Yeah, see, that's what but I mean. Just wow. Part in and out constantly. Huh. Damn. Sucks. All right, let's see what your first world problems are. 1-800-782-7987. Let's go to uh, Megan, who is first. Hey, good morning, Megan. What's up, Megan? Morning, guys. Good morning. morning. All right, so what's your first world problem? I took a trip to Maui last month and found a beautiful ring. And I had a special order it, and I'm waiting for it to come in because they didn't have my size. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, so and, now you got to wait? Yeah, and how long is... Uh, I have to wait. How long is that going to take? 
could take up to December 2nd. And I ordered oh, it in like oh. middle of summer. Oh, wait, wow. no. Jeez. You know, we just had a problem at Pottery Barn, Greg. Oh, oh no. Damn no. <laughs> oh. Pottery Barn. Yeah, my wife yeah. found this lamp that she wanted. Yeah. yeah. And it's they, they just don't have it in stock. They're not sure when it's going to be oh, back no. in stock. Oh, no. And they can't sell you the floor model because they're pretty sure it's coming back. Uh -huh, right. What to do? Now we're just like in this limbo. That limbo. drives me crazy. Lamp. Yeah, Pottery Barn. Right. Don't sell it if you don't have it. Yeah. All right, well, Megan, let's uh, compare your story to this one. This 21-year-old woman in Albuquerque was uh, out with her boyfriend playing that Pokemon Go when they saw someone commit a, a robbery. And so she decided to get the two of them out of there, started driving away, but the robber ended up firing shots into her car, hitting her in the back of the neck, and she oh died. God. Oh, man. <laughs> well, uh, great time. Started off well. Mm. Well, does that not, not suck? Not worth it. That wow. sucks. That sucks. Yeah, so, Megan, <laughs> whose problem would you rather have? Yeah. I think I will take waiting for my ring. Okay. Yeah, exactly. There's no shades gray on that one. You can do um, it. Be patient. Hey, that's just as fair as the uh, direct TV. It wasn't working, and I saw the family pull up in the handicap van. That's right. That sucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. That really sucks. Hey, Megan, thank you for the call. Thanks, guys. You suck. All right, bye. bye. Wow. Oh, you suck. Oh, you wow. suck. That's we a wow. very different oh, thing. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Thanks. Uh, well, I think wow. she meant suck it. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she really didn't. Maybe yeah. I think after hearing that story, that's her <laughs> no. new opinion. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think so. It's a that suck story, Ravy. <laughs> that was for you, Ravy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Jason. Hey, Jason. Good morning. Good morning. What's your first world problem? All right, so live in St. Louis. The wife beat me home from work yesterday, so I had to park in the driveway instead of the garage. Oh. Got some weather last night and throughout the day, so I had to get up a whole 30 minutes early today to yeah. scrape off my car, warm it up, oh. wipe away the snow, and now I'm sitting in traffic because I got to work later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Had to get some uh, snow. Yeah. yeah. Winter yeah. is here. Really cold. Woody had to dig out Ravy and I one time. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Ravy's house in yeah. St. Louis. I yeah. didn't have a shovel. Ravy's house in Dogtown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like she had to. Uh, I thought there was a shovel in the yeah. basement. She had to and wait for rescue. Wasn't. Yep. When he <laughs> rescued us. I was on my yeah. way. Hey, by the way, did you see the uh, the meteor that everybody caught yeah. on uh, right. on camera in St. Louis? Yeah. No. There's a good video of the oh, yeah. right by the arch. Yeah. yeah. The, really? Some, somebody had a camera set up on the east side, oh, like cool. across the river to where the arch is on the arch grounds. Mm -hmm. Right. And then there's this meteor. There's whoop. Sweet. Oh, cool. right. Yeah. And like the, some other people got it caught on their uh, on their ring doorbell cams mm -hmm. and stuff. It's pretty crazy. Look All right, that. well, uh, Jason, let's compare your first world problem to this story. This guy in uh, Northern California, he was driving along with a friend, went out of nowhere, a metal bar, fell off the back of a truck, bounced off another truck, hit the ground, and then ricocheted right through the windshield of their car, oh, impaling his passenger in the leg. Man. They were rushed to the hospital, and even though uh, it's a super serious injury, they're going to be okay. Jeez, the worst. But, dude, that... Sucks. sucks. I get super nervous driving behind trucks like that. Yeah. yeah. Everyone see the picture? Of the, oh. of the bar right through their leg. Uh, Ooh. Okay. It's one of those um, Jeez. like yeah. rebar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so that sticks in there real nice, so, too. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> Somebody's yeah. side view mirrored, like, came off the side of a truck, and it took out my windshield once. All right. So, insane. Jason, whose problem would you rather have? Well, seeing as I wasn't a part of a real-world Final Destination audition, I'll take mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, Jason, thank you for the call. We appreciate it, my friend. Love you guys. All right, love we you. Love. Thanks for listening to The Woody Show. All right, let's go to uh, Paula, who is next. Hey, good morning, up, Paula? Paula. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Paula, what is your first world problem? Well, I have a Roomba, and it hooks up to my Wi-Fi here in my house, and recently it disconnected, so I had to actually get up and go push the button for the last couple of weeks because I haven't had time to connect it back to my Wi-Fi. Yeah, on your oh, robot no. vacuum. Yeah, that happened to me recently as well. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ravy's got that problem. So you yeah. have to manually Roomba. push the button. I know. Oh. It's so annoying. Jeez. Wow. All right. Uh, well, let's compare it to this story. This is in Hawaii. This old man was trimming some branches at his house when all of a sudden he fell through a lava tube in his yard. What? A lava yeah. tube. A lava tube is a natural channel where lava travels just beneath the surface. It's sort of like a single yeah. thing. So uh, the tubes form by oh. crusting over lava channels. So yeah. this uh, this old man fell 22 feet below the surface, but by the time the rescuers were able to get to him, it was too late. Mega dead. Jeez. Oh, my. That sucks. That sucks. Jeez. Yeah. Lava tube. Yeah, so whose problem would you rather have there, Paula? 
Um, I'll definitely deal with my Wi-Fi Roomba problem. Yeah, oh. exactly. It'll be all right, Paula. Not the lava tube? Yeah, not the lava tube. Weird. Hmm. No, yeah. no, thank you. Yeah. All right, hey, Paula, thank you for the call. Thank you. All right, bye. After eating that hot sauce menace brought in yesterday, I have a lava tube. Getting. <laughs> Getting. Yeah, somebody <laughs> said that uh, bar that impaled that guy that came through the car is called a digging bar for underground use, and it weighs about 40 to 50 pounds. Sure. Nope. Oh God. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go to uh, Bob. Hey, good morning, Bob. What's up, Bob? Bob. Good good morning, folks. How are you? We're doing fantastic. Thank you for calling The Woody Show. What is your first world problem? Well, my something's up with my cell phone where every time I switch locations, I have to um, go into settings and turn my Wi-Fi back on because it won't automatically connect. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That really sucks. Yeah, it's a, it's a real hassle. Man. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I know you're having problems with that, but uh, we want you to listen to this That Sucks story. It's from Florida. This person was hanging out in the wildlife reserve where a lot of people like to do hiking and camping and fishing, things like that. Well, they were having a good time when out of nowhere, they were attacked by a giant alligator. They ended up getting airlifted Whoa. to the hospital. Not sure what the current condition is, but man, that sucks. sucks. That's like apparently this alligator, massive. Like yeah. one of these like been on yeah. earth since the dinosaur okay, looking so mother one efforts. Of the ones that menace right. wouldn't be scared of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like giant alligator. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So man. whose problem would you rather wow. have um, Well, I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and go to IT and get my cell phone fixed. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. That's kind of thinking. Thinking. Yeah. All right, Bob, thank you so much for listening to The Woody Show. We appreciate you All calling right. in. All right, have a Bye. great day. Bye, Bye Bob. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, there goes Bob. Hey, one more call. Let's go to Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hey, how you doing? We're doing fantastic. All right, so what is your first world problem? Well, between me and my fiance, we own five vehicles, and it's a big pain in the ass. I got to constantly drive something different to work every day, move them on the street, rotate them so I don't get a parking ticket. And every week, I got to have Mobile Wash come out and wash three uh, cars. Oh, Jesus! Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Excuse me. I, I, I know. It's, well, you're so frustrated. Yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. You know, Ravy, yes, I am. Hey, Ravy. What? I don't want to hear it from you. I've had to dump out of you Granted, more than anybody I else in this show. I swear a lot on this show. All right. So, Patrick, he has to call Mobile Wash out to clean three effing cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Well. You have five I, cars. Yeah. Oh, wow. What's dirtier, his cars <laughs> yeah. or his mouth? Oh, my. Right. I don't know. Maybe downsize a little his bit. His mouth for sure. Yeah. What? Why five cars? Like you don't yeah. have to have five yeah, cars. Yeah, you don't. Why? You know, it just kind of happened. You know, uh, my fiance drives a Porsche and we got a Mercedes and I've always had a, a hot rod yeah. pickup truck. And actually the fifth vehicle is a Harley. You know, nice. my coworkers kind of hate me. Yeah, look at Joe. Je- look a at Joe. Je- the Woody Greg's Show kind of hates you right now. I'd say your neighbors probably yeah. hate you too. <laughs> yeah. Don't you hate it when you have to rotate the Ferrari and the Lamborghini? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you don't get yeah. a parking ticket. Yeah. All right. Well, Patrick, let's compare your story to this one. It's about this guy in Ohio. He was walking around. He had his wife on the phone. And she's like, hey, can you meet me down at the golf course? Which I guess was just down the road. He agreed. So he's on his way, and he loses his footing. And, guys, he fell off a cliff into what? a ravine. Oh, my no God. Way. Oh, my what? God. Yeah. There That's was no nuts. path in or out. So there was the guy. Screw stuck, it. yelling for help. He ended up stuck there for four days. Four, oh four days? God. I thought you were going to oh, say wow. four hours. Yeah. In a ravine? No. Yeah, in a ravine. His wife knew where he was. <laughs> yeah, why uh, didn't she look for him? General idea. Mm-hmm. Four days before getting rescued, <laughs> hit it up with hypothermia, broken legs, a broken pelvis, and a broken wrist. Jeez. Oh God. Man, that sucks. sucks. Broken pelvis. He probably yeah. lost some weight, though. <laughs> yeah. So, like, okay. So, uh, Patrick, whose problem would you rather have? You know what? Um, I think washing three cars and, and moving them around every once in a while doesn't sound so bad. Yeah. Exactly. All right. mm. Yeah, you have an intact <laughs> pelvis. Here, at, yeah. at this point, Patrick, why not just uh, why not just have somebody that can do that for you? Well, that's next on the list. Yeah, I'm saying that, I, you know, I mean, people, clearly he's got enough money to have a guy. Yeah. It wouldn't be that. Uh, it wouldn't wash. be that bad. It's like what once a week to wash all the cars if you want to get crazy. Yeah. And you have like a yeah, I guy. could probably yeah employ just a a, a full time car, car detailer. Not even a full time guy. I'm saying like you know people have. Someone come clean their pool or cut their grass mm-hmm. or whatever. Ravy's got a cleaning person that comes mm-hmm. once every other week. And instead of cleaning the house, right. they just make sure that everything is scheduled for the cars. Right. There you go, Patrick. Not See? a bad idea. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks for the call. We appreciate it. You know. All right. You know. You, you know. know. Right, there goes uh, Patrick. 
And there is your first world problems and your that sucks stories. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better about your situation. I think so. Whatever yeah. is bugging you. We're going to take a quick break. The big news headlines of the day coming up next here on The Woody Show. Hey, Maybe straight up a couple- 